Hello, it's Ms. Turner here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a citation in Noodle Tools for two websites. So this might be a website that you might Google, or um, you might use some other search engine. So the first website that I'm going to do is from Britannica. And Britannica has a nice little button, the Cite button. And that actually will give us most of the information that we're going to need in Noodle Tools. So if I go to my sources in Noodle Tools, all I have to do is create a new citation, website, web page, and then I start off with the first box, which is URL. So I'm going to grab that URL right at the top, go back to my Noodle Tools, paste it in. And then I'm going to click today, and then I'm going to look for the date of publication on this website. And I'll notice that it says right here, date published, May 24th, 2018. May 24th, 2018. Almost all the way down. 2018. Now I'm going to look to see if there is some kind of author, contributor, publisher. We may have contributed right there, which is called the Editors of Encyclopedia Britannica. I'm going to copy that, select editor, and put that in as last name or group, because that's a group. I don't have a first and last name like I might an author. The document page or document article title, that's going to be the little thing. So the entire thing in, in, is Encyclopedia Britannica, but the small thing is unicorn mythological creature. So I'm going to copy and paste that into this box. Now what I see is that there's something wrong with the citation because I have this underlined in red. And if I go over to this little um, caution sign, it says check to make sure you aren't capitalizing entire words. And I am. All I have to do is make sure that only the first two letters uh, the first letter of each word is capitalized. And so as soon as I do that, that goes away. So the name of the website is Encyclopedia Britannica, which I can copy and paste into the box. And so the website is the big thing, just like we have a book. So the name of the website is like the big book. And then inside of it are all little pages and those are little articles. So the publisher of the site is also Encyclopedia Britannica. And that's what's really nice about using Encyclopedia Britannica and some other websites like that is that they will have a button that actually gives you the required information. I'm completely done with that citation. So I hit the save button. All right, now that was an easy one, right? So it gets a little bit more complicated when we're doing other types of websites. So here's a, a website from Wired Magazine. And it, um, it actually has information on multiple different places on the website. So I'm looking around and I'm not really seeing a site button. I'm not really seeing any of that. So let me get rid of that advertisement. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just like I did, we did for the other website, is I'm going to grab the URL. So that's pretty straightforward. Then date of publication, I'm going to look around on this website for a date. It either will be on the bottom next to the copyright symbol, and I'm sure that it is on this website as well. Yep, we have a copyright date right there. But on this website, I actually have this right along here. It says Matt Simon Science, 2, 4, 15, 6, 30 a.m. Ooh, he was up early. So we're actually going to use 2, which is February 4th, 2015. So February 4th, 2015. Our most recent date of access is today, so we click today, and I just want to check on that. And then we have an author, it looks like, Matt Simon. Now, you won't always have an author, and that's okay. So, Matt Simon, 
Now again, just like we did last time, the web page or document article title. Now there it is right there. It's usually very big and prominent on the website. You know what? I might actually copy it from here because down here it's all in caps lock and I'm going to have to rewrite it. So rather than having to do that, I'm, I grabbed it from a different part of the page. All right, so now I have it in there. It likes it. The name of the website is Wired, usually in some kind of logo. So there we go. And then the publisher of the website is usually all the way at the bottom of the website near the copyright symbol. Now, if you don't have a copyright symbol on the website, that's definitely where I'm going to start getting concerned. So I copied and pasted that. I'm going to get concerned about whether or not the website is credible. If there's no date, if there's no copyright or anything like that, I start to wonder. And so you might want to consider thinking about finding another source or at least finding a source that also says the same information. So we have all that information in on this Wired article and we hit save. So now we have both done a website that has the information almost given to you. And then we also did a website in which we really had to search around for that information. So as always, if you need any help, please feel free to stop in the library or send me an email and I would be happy to help. Happy noodling.